hello friends hope you are all well so uh, this is the next video in this high interaction theory series tts 1.8 where i will again explain uh, further concept of fraction okay so moving ahead uh, this is me with mr okay so we were discussing about traction parameters we have discussed all five parameters first one was slip second one was motion resistance ratio third is net traction ratio fourth is gross traction ratio and fifth is tractive efficiency so all these five parameters combinedly will be used to compare uh, the performance of tractor now how it is affecting the traction i have explained all these parameters in extreme detail to you in my previous videos so if you have any uh, doubt still uh, with you or any uh, any confusion then again uh, watch this video and ask me in the comment section okay now moving ahead now uh, we have seen all five factors uh, in segregation now i will combine all these five factors together and i will put a single graph so that graph will look like something like look something like this so all ratios will be plotted over uh, in this graph so your y axis is traction performance ratio all ratios and your x axis is travel reduction ratio means slip so if you see motion resistance ratio it, it doesn't vary with slip so it is a constant almost constant because it is a function of weight so see uh, guys there are a lot of points over here because this this is an actual data through which these uh, lines have been derived okay that was a lot of a lot of data points are there okay so this motion resistance ratio will ratio will not vary with with slip because this is a function of self weight and other factors which i have explained to you in extreme detail in my previous videos therefore it is constant with respect to slip then net traction ratio it will start increasing with slip attain a maximum value and then it will become constant after a particular amount of slip okay and then tractive efficiency it will first increase then attain a maximum value and then it, then it will start decreasing okay so uh, i have explained it to you uh, in separately separately now here if you see <coughs> you are getting the maximum tractive efficiency at around uh, this around this uh, 10% 10% slip 0.10 slip you can get a maximum tractive efficiency somewhere over here okay which is around uh, for this particular tra tractor it is around 70 to the 73% and you are getting maximum traction ratio somewhere around uh, here here in this zone somewhere around here at around 18% slip okay so your optimum range is this your optimum working line is this actually where you can get uh, uh, better tractive efficiency as well as better traction so you have you have you should for this you have to operate your tractor in the slip zone of 10% to uh, slip zone of 18% 18 to 20% so this is your optimum zone in which you should operate your tractor below this your pull will be less and your tractive efficiency will also be less after a certain age after this your pull will be constant and you, you will have less tractive efficiency you should try to op that, that is why uh, some amount of slip is required below this range slip is also uh, uh, also uh, also not required not advisable and if more slip is there then it is a waste of power you should always operate your tractor you should try to operate your tractor in the slip range of 8 to 20 uh, 10 to 20 percent or 8 to 15 percent now why that uh, this range has been given that i have explained to you with the help of this graph this is the reason okay guys so uh, i have explained all these uh, five parameters to you all these traction parameters to you now uh, i will explain what is i will i will answer some of the gate questions okay guys so uh, the first but before uh, solving the question i will ex uh, i will explain in uh, detail what is what are the method of improving traction till now we have discussed traction but how do we increase the traction there are four methods one is uh, we will fit uh, we can fit our tires with the, with chains then second is cage wheel third is combination of pneumatic tires and cage wheel and fourth one is tracks okay so this is this is how you can fit your tire with uh, tire with a chain so if you are moving on ice or some slippery surface this chain will penetrate deeper into the uh, into that surface and it will help to generate more traction so this is one way to generate more traction the first one pneumatic tire fitted with chain now second one is cage wheel you might have seen in puddling condition uh, this is this is the wheel where uh, it will help to generate more traction you remove your tires and you will put these type of wheels so it will in mud it will penetrate deeper 
and it will help regenerate more traction but sometimes you can see half cage wheel where you will have tractor tire also and then this uh, this cage wheel is mounted on tractor tire this is called half half cage wheel this is called full cage wheel so this this operation is called full cage wheel puddling and if this will go into puddling this is called half cage wheel puddling and finally you will have track so you can find track type tractor uh, this is a John Deere tractor in which you can see this is a track and again you can see one more kind of track which is like this so this is called full track and this is called half track so track is the uh, the best way to get traction but it is a bit costly so for higher hp only for higher hp tractor you can use track so uh, the advantages and disadvantages of all these traction methods i have listed it here so if it's chain there won't be any significant improvement in traction but if it uh, at the same time it if it fitted improperly then it can damage the tire and also it can damage the road and disturb the soil for cage wheel it will provide more pull in flooded condition the performance is variable and uh, one cage wheel will not will will not will shoot uh, to other tire so it will, the design will vary from tire to tire and uh, it also increase vibration and the ride will be rough rubber track is the most effective device because you will have higher uh, highest actually tire you know, tra footprint in case of tire if you have highest footprint you have more rotation and you will have more traction now how this footprint is affecting traction that i have already explained to you in my uh, first traction video so if you don't know that still please go and watch that video so your track will reduce uh, ground pressure because now this footprint area is very high so track is the best way to improve traction but track tractor uh, require very high amount of uh, engine power so in low hp tractor you cannot put track um, but for higher hp track is the best way to get better traction okay so these are the methods to improve traction now we will see some of the gate question okay in 2008 they have asked a simple question that what is the nature of variation of track efficiency with wheel slip in rear wheel drive tractor uh, you should uh, now be able to identify easily the answer of this question you have already, i have already explained all these graphs to you so this is your track efficiency curve with respect to slip this is your net traction ratio curve this is your net resistance ratio curve and same will be your gtr gross traction ratio curve so in this question they have asked you track efficiency curve so uh, this will be your answer a you see it will first increase then it will attain a maximum value peak value and then it will start reducing so it's now become very simple for you to identify the curve okay if you not able to answer this question then please watch all the video from beginning continuously one by one okay moving forward in 2010 they asked this interesting question so just pause the video try to solve the question and then come back and then um, see the solution over here so uh, it is a 32 kilowatt tractor two wheel drive tractor weighing 20 kilo newton wheel base of 2.1 meter and uh, fitted with 20 12.428 year tire and 13.628 tire okay then ratio of section height and section width that is expect ratio they have given 0.75 or 75% then weight distribution they have given on front and rear 35% and 65% of total tractor weight cone index they have given 1200 kilo pascal and they are, they are asking you to calculate the motion resistance ratio for each of these two tires and in second question they are asking net traction developed uh, with the, in this in case of this tire okay for 15% slip so we will first see solution of first question okay so these are the data given power is 37 kilowatt weight of tractor is 20 kilo newton length wheel base is 2.1 tire 1 is your 12.428 tire 2 is 13.628 aspect ratio is 0.75 uh, then your uh, weight distribution is 65 and 35 in rear and uh, front the cone index is 1200 kilo pascal and you have to calculate motion resistance ratio so the first step is uh, to calculate tire diameter i have already explained to you how to calculate tire diameter if you don't know then please go there and watch their tire video so first you calculate section width then uh, nominal rim dia then aspect ratio with the help of aspect ratio you will calculate uh, overall diameter and section height okay so in this case this diameter will come 1.2 meter so now you know overall diameter of your tire so after that you can calculate uh, what is the weight coming on rear so it is given 65% of total weight so it is 7.5 kilo newton okay but now mind it uh, 65% weight is coming on the rear but in the rear there are two tires so 65% of total tractor weight which is 20 kilo newton but there are two tires so on one tire it will be divided by two so in two tire it will be 13 kilo newton 
on complete rear axle but on one tire it will be only 7.5 kilo newton so don't make this mistake of not dividing this by 2 okay so be clear in your concepts okay so i will uh, i always uh, make more emphasis on uh, on your concept building okay so please be clear in on your concept then i have told you uh, about this table that all these three these four equations are of extremely importance so uh, here i will calculate this first cn number with the help of cibd by w ci you already given if you don't know what is cn then again please do watch the previous videos so uh, you can calculate your cn and after that this bismarck equation you can calculate your motion resistance ratio so it will come 0 0.059 you can uh, so uh, your answer is correct answer closest answer is 0.057 as i have calculated only for first tire so with only by calculating first tire you can get this answer now this is 57 there i am getting 59 so it depends on uh, after how many decimal units you are using so it will vary on the basis of that so you can take closest answer so d is the correct answer for this okay you can similarly you can check your answer for 13.628 tire please do calculate for this tire okay now for second question you already know uh, all this previous previous values your motion resistance ratio from previous equation you know uh, you know for 13.628 tire your motion resistance ratio is uh, given over there okay 0 0.055 so with the help of this Wismarloop equation mu g mu g is 0 0.75 into this so you know already for this tire you have to calculate again for 13.628 tire diameter cn number then by putting all this thing over here for slip of 15 percent which is given in the question you can get mu g of 0 0.715 now i have told you that coefficient of traction c will be mu g minus rolling resistance so with the help of this you can get cot of 0 0.66 now you know cot is what the ratio of pull by weight so you have to calculate pull now you, you know the weight, weight weight coming on your rear axle so you, you knew weight coming on your rear axle is 65 percent so the total uh, traction the total pull developed by your rear axle will be this much 8.6 8 kilo newton which is your uh, this first option okay so like this uh, if you have a clear cut concept you have understood each and everything which i taught you clearly then you can answer this question okay guys so if, it, if your uh, your concept are not clear then please watch this video again so then again they have asked this uh, tractive efficiency question here <coughs> again please uh, pause the video and uh, solve this question then come back the data they have given is uh, this is uh, pull of uh, 12 kilo newton a speed of 5 kmph radius of 0 0.65 meter slope of 20 percent and torque of 9 kilo newton per meter and you need to calculate tractive efficiency so you already know that tractive efficiency is output power by input power so the input power here is traction force which is torque divided by rolling radius so 13.84 kilo newton output power is basically your pull which is given 12 kilo newton so this is a simple question you can directly calculate tractive efficiency so your correct option is 69.3 percent okay again in gate 2015 they have asked this question on tractive efficiency so here again they have given uh, data like uh, like uh, this draft of 30 kilo newton speed of 4 kmph so uh, your output will be drawer power which is draft into a speed and your input power will come from your traction force which is tor torqued by uh, rolling radius <coughs> but here you have drawer power so here also you have to calculate power so again you have to multiply this also by speed so your ratio in your ratio your speed speed will get cancelled so only d divided by t into r will be your tractive efficiency and uh, that will be your answer uh, option a so please don't directly solve these questions uh, try to uh, clear your concept okay so guys uh, this was everything about uh, tractive efficiency and traction please uh, watch all this video continue uh, in, in, in series one by one don't jump uh, in between okay and if still you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section always they will ask one some two to three question from this area and if you have all concept clear then you can easily manage all those questions so thank you guys thank you very much for watching this video and please likes and like and subscribe this uh, channel for more videos thank you very much